सो वेलकम टू दिस न्यू चैनल फॉर कैट एस पेरेंट हु वॉन्ट टू स्कोर मोर देन नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट डाइट माई नेम इज रोनक शाह एंड आई टीच क्वान्टिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड एंड लॉजिकल रिजनिंग एंड डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग गेम्स एंड टूर्नामेंट बेस्ड केसलेट from lrdi section of cat 2021 slot 2 um, so the data is on your screen quickly take a glance um, so the data says that uh, there are 12 players and each rank differently divided into four groups that is three players e in each of the groups and the group names are given and the players are also given uh, it's very easy for us to relate the players with the group because the initial of the players are in a line with the group name um uh, further they have mentioned all of them have been given distinct ranks at the start of the game so for example if i say group a suppose arora is a first rank player azul is second rank player and arif is the third rank player in the group stage second rank will play against the third rank in that group so the first game in group a will be between azul and arif because so if they are second and third rank player assuming they are second and third rank player and the winner from this two will play against aruna so this will be the second game of group a so suppose azul won the first game against arif so arif will get eliminated and azul will play against aruna uh, the second game then whosoever is the winner will proceed to the semi final so semi final will be played between the winners from group a and group b so we will similarly get a winner from group b and he will play against group a uh, winner so that will be the semi final match and similarly there will be a match between group c and group d winners and then of course they'll further proceed to final right further it is given that chitra did not win the championship aruna and arif did not play against each other so in group a we know that aruna and arif didn't play against each other three games were played by aruna biju chitra and dipen just be careful about the names of the player for example there is bridge and there is biju okay so in cat exam i mean they sometimes give you this kind of names just to confuse you even if you look at 2020 paper or 19 paper you will find at least a set where they have given such confusing names rather than giving uh, uh, you know simple names right so this is the information that we have so this players have played three games okay two games were played by azul and chetan all others played only one game so there are total 12 players and out of them this players have uh, played three games azul and chetan have played two games and remaining six players have played just one game now whosoever plays one game that means they played that game in the group stage and they got eliminated okay right so now if you want you can pause the video over here and uh, you can just try to analyze the data before listening to the explanation given by me or before even proceeding with the questions okay sure so let's go ahead with the solution but before that let me once again summarize the information that is given so in group a first of all we have this four groups so in group a uh, rank 2 will play against rank 3 and whosoever wins will proceed to the next uh, game so then he'll play against rank 1 and whosoever wins over here will proceed to the semi uh, semi final so this is the semi final suppose uh even is reaching to semi final similarly from group b say we got uh, b2 okay similarly from group c we got say c1 group d we got d3 so they are playing semi final and whosoever wins over here will proceed to the final so this is how the final will be played so i really hope you have understood the structure now you need to analyze some more information so can i say whosoever is going to the final or whosoever is winning the championship must have played at least three games so which three games of course the final the semi final and at least one game over here it may be possible that say for example a2 is going to the semi final and further a2 is going to the final so in that case if you count the number of games played by a2 will be four but as given in the basic data that no one has played four games so we can rule out that possibility right but uh, whosoever wins the final or the championship must have played at least three games and there are only four such players as mentioned in the info in the given data that uh, they have played three games right so, now let's look at the first question it is on the screen in fact if you want you can pause the video over here and give a thought by yourself first before listening to the explanation okay so the first question ask us who among the following is definitely not the first in his or her group 
now looking at the question i feel this question will require a bit more analysis so in such scenario what you can do is if you want you can look at some of the other questions and if you feel that there are some uh, low hanging fruits available try to grab them first for example if i look at second question which uh, ask once again who among the following must have played against each other okay so uh, again in this case if you can figure out say we are given azul and biju azul has played two games so can he uh, you know he can play to with biju only if he is proceeding to the next round so is it possible for azul to proceed to the next round so once again this is going to be slightly tricky okay so we can skip this question because again this requires lots of analysis but if you look at this question who among the following won the championship now we saw at the beginning we discussed this point that whosoever has won the championship must have played at least three games right we know chitra didn't win the championship so this option is straight away eliminated okay uh, bridge hasn't played three games or even two games so can't be there so it has to be either aruna or can't be determined so once uh, we have got some concrete information we can straight away tick mark one of the correct option whether it's going to be aruna or someone else similarly if you look at last question who among the following did not play against uh, chitra in the championship okay so yeah biju uh, biju is definitely going to play against aruna so biju cannot play with chitra that's for sure theek hai biju cannot play against chitra um, because we know that whosoever is going from group a and b whosoever is going to the semi final can play against uh, chitra right while uh, biju if you look at he has played three games and once we'll analyze you will understand this part that biju is not proceeding to semi final so it has to be aruna and based on that you can straight away tick mark this option so this question can be easy but once again as i said it requires a bit of analysis so let's do one thing let's start with the first question okay so in the first question i mean uh, let's start with group a so who could have played against whom in group a so uh, once again in group a we know aruna has played three games aruna is not playing against tarif and azul has played two games okay so if i start with aruna and azul over here ar means aruna and arif will indicate by af so if i start this way so one of aruna or azul will get eliminated and they cannot play two games or three games respectively so that's how we realize that the first game in group a should be between arif and azul and arif will get eliminated azul will proceed to the next round and the second game will be with aruna so definitely aruna has to be first in her group so aruna cannot be answer to this question and uh, since azul has played only two games so azul will get eliminated over here and from group a we know that aruna will proceed to the next round so based on that we can straight away figure out the question answer for the last question okay so this part is clear now let's look at second group what happens in second group okay so in group b once again biju has played three games while no one has played more than one game that is uh, brinda and bridge brinda and bridge has played just one game so definitely uh, you know it can be like this ke brinda played against biju or played against bridge theek hai uh, let me just write bridge as bj biju as biju and brinda is bri Uh, then brinda got eliminated because she is going to play only one game and uh, you know in this case one of this will proceed further okay so if i take biju as uh, you know if i consider let's do it once again guys suppose the first game is between brinda and bridge so what will happen one of them will win and the other will get eliminated so whosoever wins will play the second game while we know no one from group b has played two games only biju has played three games so that means the first game should be with biju and brinda or bridge then one of them will get eliminated and another right one of them will get eliminated and biju will proceed further biju will proceed further and play the second game with the rest okay so it can be bridge or brinda whosoever was here so ultimately brinda and bridge would play exactly one game and then we know that none of them are playing more than one game so again say brinda got eliminated over here and bridge got eliminated over here right so biju will proceed to 
the semi final so biju is playing over here and biju will be playing semi final right now we know biju is going to play only three games so biju must lose over here and aruna will definitely proceed to the final so from group a and b definitely aruna is coming to the final we are sure for this so that's how we can actually eliminate some of the option of the next question where we were asked that who plays against chitra so biju or bridge cannot play against chitra okay so aruna will be over here now let's look at what is the scenario in group c so in group c we know chitra has played three games and chetan has played two games okay so how is this possible so there are multiple possibility once again for example i can take chitra uh, over here and uh, let me use some different color so that it should not be disturbing for you so uh, chitra can be the first person and say um, you know the other one who is in group 2 chavi chavi played the second game okay and uh, yes if i consider this scenario chavi has to be eliminated because chavi has played only one game um, okay so chitra will proceed further and will play against uh, chetan so here once again either chetan or chitra will have to get eliminated right so this is not possible similarly guys chitra and chetan cannot play against each other in the first round chitra and chetan cannot play against each other in the first round otherwise one of them will get eliminated and no one will be able to play more than one game so that's how we re realized the only way this is possible or the only way chitra can play three games is the first game has to be between chetan and chavi so chavi will get eliminated chetan will proceed to the second round will play a second game and will play against chitra now chetan has played his two games so now chetan will be eliminated and chitra will proceed to the semi final okay chitra will proceed to the semi final and will play against the person who is coming from group d so let's see what happens in group d everyone so yeah in group d we know deepen has played three games and no other has played more than one game and this is only possible uh, you know so for example if i say dona and deb plays the first game in that case one of them will be eliminated another will proceed to the second game which is not possible so definitely deepen has to play the first game deepen has to play the first game okay right and uh, that's how we can say deepen is surely not the first rank player because uh, you know first game is between rank 2 and rank 3 so deepen will play against say dona or deb one of them say dona then uh, dona will be eliminated then deepen will play against deb then deb will be eliminated and deepen will proceed to the semi final right so here chitra and deepen will play right now if you observe chitra has played just two games while deepen has completed his three games so definitely deepen must be getting eliminated over here and chitra should be proceeding to the final so final will be between chitra and aruna we know chitra is not winning the championship so aruna is winning the championship and here we uh, here comes the end of the complete solution i mean now we have got all the answers uh, we have got answers to all the questions right so let's look at each question one by one for the first question answer has to be option b who among the following must have played against each other so this is not possible deb dana must have played against each other as you can see no deb dana cannot play against each other as i mentioned chitra deepen definitely played in semi final they played against each other in semi final so my answer for this one is chitra and deepen very simple question similarly if i proceed further who among the following won the championship definitely aruna won the championship and yes who among the following did not play against chitra so who didn't play against chitra definitely chetan has played uh, deepen has played uh, aruna has played in the final only biju didn't play because biju was eliminated in semi final against aruna so couldn't proceed to the semi final right so this is how you could have answer all the questions so ideally spending about 8 to 10 minutes for the sat would uh, have been sufficient provided you have practiced this kind of case lets earlier and uh, yeah you can solve all the four questions that had appeared in the exam so keep learning with us and don't forget to hit the subscribe button